Hey guys, it's Stop Drop Disney and today I am very excited to show you my new Cheshire cat from Build-A-Bear. So I just got him in the other day but I wasn't feeling very well so I'm just doing a review now and I am going to show you what he looks like without an outfit on but I feel like for videos it's always easier to start with his outfit on and then show unveil how he's designed underneath. Uh, that way you don't have to watch me putting a ton of clothes on him because it's easier just to take them off. So if you're interested in that, please keep watching. And if you love Disney as much as I do, subscribe for weekly updates and news. So there have been a lot of Alice related releases and announcements re lately because it's going to be the 70th anniversary of Alice in Wonderland. And so one of my favorite releases so far has to be the Build-A-Bear release. They came out with this Cheshire cat. They came out with a Mad Hatter outfit, a Queen of Hearts outfit, and an Alice outfit. I'm really hoping, like I know some other Alice fans are, that they will release more stuffed animal characters. I would love to see the White Rabbit. I would love, love, love to see the Caterpillar. So I'm really hoping that this was an early release, but maybe they will be adding additional characters. Um, but I am very pleased with the Cheshire. So let's take a look at his Mad Hatter outfit first. And just a note, I did see him in the Queen of Arts Hearts outfit and I love it. I think it looks so adorable and I probably will be adding it to my list of things to get um, soon from Build-A-Bear. So I hope, how soon? I don't know, but I would love to have it. I think it looks really cute on him and probably future characters that I have. So that is on my list, but I did have to go for the Mad Hatter outfit first and overall it didn't disappoint. So the Mad Hatter outfit comes with a nice hat, a jacket, and then his body suit that he's wearing. So the one thing I'll say is there was an older version and if I can, I'll show it to you um, at the end of this video, but there was an older version of the Mad Hatter outfit that Build-A-Bear came out with and the hat was a lot better quality. So where this is like very thin and it sort of bends up and I find a lot of the time I'm trying to bend it down, um, the material and just the design of the older hat was a lot better. In fact, I may at some point replace this hat with a different hat, Mad Hatter hat, but it's not bad. Um, it's just in comparison to what they previously released a number of years ago, it's kind of not as great of quality, but I think all together, the outfit looks really cute. And so if you are a Mad Hatter or Alice in Wonderland fan, I would go for it. I'm just saying if Disney is watching this video or Build-A-Bear is watching this video, come on guys, you can give us the same quality you did last time, but still think it's really cute. So inside, if you are getting this for a different character, it has little elastic bands that will hold on to the ears of your character. Uh, there's nothing for it to really hold on to with the Cheshire Cat, but I just sort of balance it on top and, um, you know, put it at different angles and like sort of tuck the elastic bands in. Nothing special going on inside the hat. Um, I might stuff it at some point to just make sure that it looks um, nice all the time. And I also was going to try to flatten this so that it's sort of per permanently flattened around the base of the hat. But it does have this nice sparkly effect to it, which matches the sparkly effect on his outfit. And overall, not terrible quality, just not as great as the past hat that they came out with. Then looking at the rest of it, so this jacket is detachable. You don't have to always have it on, but it's a nice yellow jacket to match, um, similar to what he actually wears in Alice in Wonderland. So there's not a ton of detail to this jacket. It's okay. Um, and I probably will just try to get some of the wrinkles out that came with the shipment. There's also like, a string here that I need to cut off. But for the detail, I'd say it's okay overall. It's just nice to have the yellow jacket 
to pair with the look. The best part for me of the Mad Hatter outfit that they came out with this time is this bodysuit. So elastic in back with an opening at the bottom that you can put your character's tail through and or sorry, I think I said elastic in back, but I meant Velcro in back. And then nice collar that sticks up. And I think depending on what character you're putting it on, it's probably gonna fit a little bit closer to the neck. Um, but the Cheshire Cat is just shaped a little bit differently than some of the other characters. So it's gonna fit him a little bit differently than if you're putting it on a different Build-A-Bear. I also put this on Baby Yoda and cause I have the Baby Yoda or the child version of the Build-A-Bear and it looked really cute on that character as well. I love the little bow tie. Uh, with the past look that came out for this, it was sort of an oversized bow tie, but same color, same like satiny look. And I think it looks good on this outfit, the way that they've done it and the size that it is. Also got this nice button detail here with the sparkles that match the hat and the sparkles around the belt line, which does stop before the back, but I think that's fine because you're, if you're gonna have him on display, it's really gonna be showing this way and you have the jacket which covers the back anyway. So if you put the yellow jacket on, you're not gonna see the belt not going fully around. And then they did a striped pant. So I love the color. Um, I think the sleeves are nice in the white and a pretty good length for the Cheshire if you're putting, him, putting it on the Cheshire. And then the pants are stretchy, so they will fit Build-A-Bears of different sizes and shapes. Um, but yeah, that's probably my favorite piece of this Build-A-Bear Mad Hatter outfit. So I'm just gonna take the outfit off of the Cheshire so that you can see what he looks like underneath. So this is the Cheshire Cat without any additions and one thing I've noticed because I've had him for a little over a day is that some of his hairs I think from his head have been coming out a little bit and there's also like these little um, I don't know what it is if it's like the glue that they used but there's like little weird um, crumples of like I probably like dried glue or dried coloring um, but you really don't notice it that much unless you're looking closely and you probably could just take a pair of scissors and clean it up unless it's too close to the base as some of the pieces are. But in that case, there's plenty of other hair here to cover that up. And I'm not really too worried about him losing too much hair as he's mostly gonna be on display. So after this video, I'm gonna put that outfit back on him and he's mostly gonna be on display. So he's not gonna be getting a ton of wear and tear. But if you have a child playing with this, you probably will notice some hair coming out. That said, I think he's adorably cute. Love that they have the Alice in Wonderland on the paw. I do notice a little bit of imperfection around the outside of this um, like sticker or whatever you want to call it that they've put on him. So they're are minor details where it's not perfectly finished, but that's that's okay with me as long as it doesn't continue to come off and it stays in good condition, which like I said, I'm gonna be keeping this uh, more for display as a collector's item. So I'm not so concerned that it's gonna come off, but if you have a child playing with it, it may come off. And if you want to keep one in good condition, you might wanna get a second. Uh, and then he's got the traditional Build-A-Bear on his other paw. So he looks really cute. His face is that traditional Cheshire smile and his nice yellow eyes that are very bright and definitely pull you in. The one thing that also worries me about him is that they, at least for mine, didn't put a lot of stuffing here, which is great if you wrap his tail around, it allows you to wrap his tail around easily. And so maybe they did that purposely, but I do kind of worry that since it doesn't have much stuffing here, it's kind of bending at an odd angle. Um, so don't know if that's something I really have to worry about, but I just worry in general because I love it so much. 
Um, I do love that you can give him like that traditional look with his tail underneath and he can sort of play with his tail and have his uh, paws on top of his tail. So overall, I like the size and shape of the tail and I like that they did do a good job of stuffing the majority of it just at that like point where it meets his back that it doesn't have that much stuffing in it. And it's probably okay. I'm probably worried for no reason, but I would just be careful with it if you are a collector and you want to keep it in good condition. So that's the Cheshire Cat. I will leave a link in the description below to the page where you can get him. He is an online only uh, purchase item, so you will not find him in stores unless they change that. And like I said, I'm hoping that they're gonna be adding to this line. And if I do get the other outfit, the Queen outfit or the Alice outfit, I will share what that looks like on either the Cheshire or my baby Yoda. But very happy with him. He's very cute and cuddly. I think they've overall done a great job on his design. And as a fan, I think you'll be really pleased. So let me know what you think and I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks guys, have a great week.